Hello, dear. You are all welcome. Please, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this page. Do not forget to subscribe, share, and then comment. Now, today we're going to look at three things. That is pitch range, mapping, and then BPM. How you are going to arrange your song from ascending and descending order. First of all, let's start with pitch range. Now, after you've opened your virtual DJ as I have done mine, you go to settings. Now, type pitch. You can type pitch or you can type range. So, let me type pitch. P I T C H. Now, for mine, it is 50 here. You see, pitch range has appeared. Mine is 50 here. Now, yours might be 100, 28, whatever. The reason why you have to always make your pitch range to be 50 is assuming you are playing a song with, let's say, 115 BPM, 115. And there is a song which also contains maybe 112 or 100 BPM. When, if your, beep, if your pitch range is, let's say, 100 or below, you will see that the song will run faster. It will speed up. But when your pitch range is 50, though it will run faster, but in a normal pace. So always make sure your pitch range is 50. That one you can make your you can use you can play a song which contains a higher with a lower tempo or from a lower to higher tempo. So it is always advisable to make your pitch range 50. So if yours is 100, whatever, you edit it. You clean if it is hundred, you will clean it and make it five zero dot maybe zero zero. Thank you. The next one we are also going to look at it is beat per minute. Beat per minute. That is BPA. So you will select the folder you want to scan or you want to set the BPA. Assuming I want to select this folder, the moment you click on it, the songs will be here, and then you press on control that the CTRL key from your keyboard. Let your finger be on it, do not lose your finger. Then you press on letter A from your keyboard. See, it has selected all the tracks from that particular folder, and then you right click. On it then you will see batch select batch from batch pass through batch and then go to analyze analyze for BPM ETC and then you click on it the moment you click on it it will start scanning all the tracks in this folder and this is what is going on here to scan everything but because it wastes time I will suggest you do this in the night when you're about to sleep you just do you move from folder to folder maybe after this folder you move to the next one you do everything and then go and sleep the next day you see that it has done everything perfectly for you now after it has finished doing it for you you have to arrange them for your programs so you have to click on the bpm the bpm arrow the bpm arrow this place you click on it 
when you click on it it will ring the tracks from let's say the highest the lowest you click on it again so when the arrow is down I want to show you okay so when the arrow is up it means this one the BPM when the arrow is up it means you're going to play the songs from slow tempo to high you click on it again the arrow will be down when the arrow is down it means you're going to play your music let's say from speed to the slowest so this is how you have to do it as a DJ you have to consider those you are going to deal with and also the kind of program you are going to play so you will determine whether you should start from slow or you should, you should start from fast so as a DJ you have to consider what kind of program am I going to play and also who and who are there dancing then you make the right choice to satisfy your audience now let's talk about mapping that's the last one assuming a colleague DJ has given you his mapping now um, the best thing to do is you go to document and there is it document yes when document opens you will see virtual dj virtual dj you open it then you will see maps you open maps and assuming this is the map the mapping that i have been given assuming this is it i will drag and drop or you can also copy and paste i will drag drag and drop it yeah for this it is already in so so after you have dropped it in you close the folder now since it has my virtual dj is already opened i have to close it and then uh, i open it again before I will see it so we are waiting for it to open okay now it has opened now if you want to see it go to setting mapping and then let's say if what I took was DJ language GH and this is it I will select it and that is all you can start using it thank you for watching